started graffiti when I was 1985. My first uh, painting I ever did was was this uh, on some doors at, at a, a warehouse in Oakland. And uh, I still have the doors. A friend of mine saved them. Like the only thing existing from spray can art, everything else has been buffed or, or covered over or, or but I actually have the doors here in my studio. It's kind of cool. Jim Prigoff said that uh, it's the only existing thing from the spray can art book. Like Galileo dropped the orange. Leaves are falling all around. Time, I was on my way. Much obliged, such a pleasant stay. But now it's time for me to go. The autumn moon lights my way. But now I smell the rain, and with it came, and it's heading my way. I call my studio King Tits Tomb. You know this top is whenever possible don't pick up the pencil. So a lot of the hair and stuff, the reason it looks the way it does is because you're not picking up the pencil too much. These iconic lizards that my father created. Um, the first lizard was born after my father saw Disney's Fantasia. My father was 15 years old, went home and took that head and put it on a, on a human body. And that was the first lizard was born. First Bodhi lizard. Some Bodhi broads, lizards and Cheech, those, those are the iconic characters that were adopted by the earliest graffiti writers in New York City. People started copying my father and it just kept going and it's still going strong today. Any other characters in hip hop or, or the culture of spray can art that's more sampled than, than the Bodhi style of characters. Open Terminal, it's a live show, Terminally Ill, and June 20th.